So in this video, we're going to be walking through setup process of the Ecobank app. So before we continue, if you're new to this video and this channel, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel below. So head to the App Store or Google Play Store to download the Ecobank app. In this video, we are downloading the app from the Apple App Store and using it on the iPhone. So after you have downloaded the app, register an account with your email. Then you can name your home account. We're going to leave it at as my home. Next, we're going to add robot to start a smart new life. To connect the robot to the app, the phone Bluetooth has to be on. Then to pair the robot with your Ecovax app, scan the QR code under the top cover of the robot. Then you also need to enable location services so that the robot knows where it is in the map when it does the cleaning and mapping. Then next is to connect to your home Wi-Fi and follow along the instructions. As it says here, open the D-board cover, switch on your D-board and wait until a startup sound is played. Then check, I switch on the robot and next to Briefly press the reset button for one second and then release. You will hear that the board is ready for network setup. Then check, I heard the sound and then next to connect via Wi-Fi and hotspot. Then you will see that the robot is connecting to your phone. When it's connected, you can name your robot and then set up your robot in the time zone and voice language. Then every now and then, there will be a firmware update. You can update automatically or manually whenever. When the setup is done, you'll be brought to the home screen. So in the home screen here, you can do auto cleaning, recharge or enter smart cleaning. But now what if you want to do manual cleaning or to view the maps or set boundaries for the robot when it comes to cleaning time. As of this update and version, it is still a little bit complicated and complex and not straightforward to get to the cleaning part. So in this video, I'm going to help you. Click the message icon on the top right, then tap the robot message. In the example here, it is Joey cleaning completed. Then you'll be brought to the mopping mode where you can see the map and other functions. Right now, the robot Joey is sleeping. Anyway, we can choose it, the robot to go to auto function or auto mode here or by custom mode or by area. But first, we're going to check out the map. So tap the map icon on the bottom left here to map management. Here, you can enable multi-floor mapping. As we see here, there's already downstairs and upstairs map that I've already created earlier. And the map is already color coded. Anyway, let's go to the upstairs floor map. So in a map, we can set the virtual boundaries, edit areas, label areas, or delete map. Here I've already labeled the areas in the map. Let's go to edit areas. So here we can merge areas and divide areas. So let's say I want to merge a bedroom and living room. I can tap them and then merge the areas into one area. I can also divide an area. As we see the example here, I can divide this bedroom into two separate areas. Then you can also change the labels by going to label area and then tap the area to change the label in the room. Then in addition to separating the areas, you can also create boundaries and no mob zones. Tap the virtual boundary icon on the bottom left. Then just draw an area to create a boundary and the zone where the robot should not go to for cleaning. And now back in the mopping mode screen, you can also set the cleaning sequence, cleaning preference, and to empty dust in the dustbin to the station. So let's check the cleaning sequence first. You can tap the areas to set the cleaning sequence from one onwards. So the robot will clean from area one to area two, and then to three, and then so forth. Then in cleaning preference, you can set the cleaning time, suction power, and water flow level. The robot can clean under quiet mode or to maximum noise level. Then the water flow for the mopping can be low to a lot of water, which is ultra high level. Then for more settings, you can tap the three dots on the top right here. Here you can see advanced mode, auto boost suction, auto empty, scheduling, continuous cleaning, do not disturb mode, cleaning cloth reminder, and so forth. So that's it on the EcoVac. For more contents like this or contents in real estate, investing, finance, and home care tips, hit the like button below and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more.